Welcome to the James Town Distributors Workshop. I'm here with TJ, who's going to show us his personal DIY project on how to create an eel bucket. I like using a double bucket method because it allows me to ice down the eels, which puts them in sort of a catatonic state, makes them a lot easier to handle. Uh, the double bucket actually allows the water and the ice to drain out and the slime, which uh, prevents them from drowning, keeps them alive a lot longer. Well, show us how it's done, TJ. Start by making king starboard spacers out of 3 quarter inch starboard. Abrade the sides of the spacers and the bonding area of the bucket with 80 grit sandpaper. Now wipe clean with alcohol. Use West System G-Flex to make the spacer and to bond it to the bottom of the bucket. The spacer will allow you to add a good amount of ice without having to drain the bucket or worry about the eels drowning in unoxygenated water and slime. Next drill the holes from the inside out. Now here's a JD workshop tip. By drilling from the inside out, the holes will be smooth and in turn, not scrape the sides of the eels, which will cause them to produce excessive slime. Now drill a few holes in the lid. This will allow you to dunk the eels in water without removing the lid when your ice melts. Remember, the key to keeping eels alive is keeping them cool, wet, and not underwater. I usually use a scoop or two of ice and then put the eels on top of the ice. And the holes in the bucket allow the water and slime to drain out, which in turn keeps the eels wet, but not submerged in water, which will cause them to drown. The key to keeping the eels alive is keeping them wet. Now remember, you can find buckets and everything else you've seen in this video from jamestowndistributors.com.